I am asking you, where did Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that he died on the cross for your sin? That is the teaching of Paul. Are you following Paul or are you following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? Nowhere in the Bible. Listen. We are going to Jerusalem. Everything the prophets wrote about the Son of Man will come true. He will be handed over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and treat him shamefully and spit upon him. He will be whipped and killed. But on the third day, he will rise. I am the Good Shepherd who is willing to die for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me will live, even though they die. The bread that I will give you is my flesh, which I give so that the world may live. This started an angry argument among them. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? I am telling you the truth. If you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in yourselves. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life. And I will raise them to life on the last day. For my flesh is the real food, my blood is the real drink. If any Christian can point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, says that I am God, or where he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. If you had really believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But since you do not believe what he wrote, how can you believe what I say? If I testify on my own behalf, what I say is not to be accepted as real proof. But there is someone else who testifies on my behalf. And I know that what he says about me is true. John is the one to whom you sent your messengers. And he spoke on behalf of the truth. It is not that I must have a human witness. I say this only in order that you may be saved. John was like a lamp, burning and shining. And you were willing for a while to enjoy his light. But I have a witness on my behalf, which is even greater than the witness that John gave. What I do, me. And the Father who sent me also testifies on my behalf. Jesus Christ, peace be upon, never claimed divinity. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. And you will die in your sins. If you do not believe that I am who I am. Who are you? What I have told you from the very beginning. I am who I am. 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 I am asking you, why don't you follow the instruction of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? Lord, show us the Father. That is all we need. For a long time I have been with you all. Yet you do not know me, Philip. Stop your doubting and believe. <laughs> My Lord. And oh my God. Do you believe? Because you see me. How happy are those who believe without seeing me? He never said that you believe that I died on the cross for your sins. That yes. means it's a wrong belief. Correct? Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 19, me likha hai. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth in him, that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
No one goes to the Father except by me. And I will do whatever you ask for in my name. If you ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him.